Life's lessons don't come with signposts or flashing lights telling you this is important. But somehow that harmless game of hide and seek back in 62 taught me something I'd never forget. Essentially, we all have our own interests at heart. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a stance that served me well in business. I'm chief executive officer of one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in Europe and I got there by trusting nobody. That's what I learned that day. I must have been about eight years old. Yes, that's me, running. I never stopped running, still haven't. Skinny little kid, a twig you could break in half over your knee. My best friends in the world were a bigger, rougher boy called John and Susie, the girl I coyly pretended not to fancy. A girlfriend at eight? Go ahead and laugh, but I was always ambitious. I wonder do children still do this? Or are they too glued to computer games and text messaging? Doesn't matter. In the early 60s, we still played hide and seek. John knew I liked Susie. He certainly teased me enough about it. At eight, John was firmly in the girl hating camp, or so I assumed. He once coated a dead slug in sugar and fed it to Lucy Cartwright, telling her it was a sweetie. Some of the parents thought John was a touch disturbed. I think he joined the army. Maybe the SAS. Anyway, we lost touch. John and Susie. So you see what I mean? Trust nobody. People let you down. It's inevitable, a law of human nature. I no longer take it personally. Still, funny how that first betrayal hurts, isn't it? <laughs>